Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Stormworks, and we are once again back working on our oil rig. We are trying to wrap this thing up, so the uh, home stretch is kind of there, but in today's episode, we are going to be working on this bridge section up in the top deck. So that's kind of what we're going to be working on. We're going to try to make this look a lot better, a lot more put together. Now, it's not going to be finished because we're still going to have some instruments and uh, controls and that kind of thing that we're going to have to add to it. But uh, for for now, it's going to be a good chunk of the, uh, the bridge, and I think that it turns out pretty good. I'm going to go for a little bit more of a not like necessarily retro but i don't i don't want to have like glass screens everywhere so we're going to go for a little bit more of the analog style with a lot more big gauges and in um kind of not fancy displays and that that kind of thing but i wanted to do that for a couple reasons i wanted to keep the lag um a, a little bit at bay which is kind of funny especially with this creation just because this thing is going to lag so I can't really control that part of it, but, um, you know, I just figured you're not really going to be driving this thing that much anyways, because the point of it is to be drilling. So it's not really for transportation. So we're going to add stuff to drive it, obviously, but you're not going to spend the most, most of your time up in this deck. So I'm not going to focus on giving it all of this crazy, um, you know, tools and, and instruments and screens and all of that. I just figured it's not really worth it and it'll kind of help us not lag. Um, just a little bit so I'm not sure if it'll make a really really noticeable difference but hopefully you know in the long run it it helps out a little bit so we're gonna keep this pretty simple in here we're just gonna you know I'm just building a pretty big console table for the uh, the helm and then we'll kind of just extend it both ways and add some control stations elsewhere so behind here is gonna be um, a little bit more of kind of like an office uh, the space so there's going to be kind of some desks and some cubicles and that kind of thing so kind of expect that i guess um you know i was going to put them downstairs but we just kind of don't really have the room if i'm being honest so we have a lot more room up here the bridge doesn't need to be this big so we're going to put some desks up here and we'll kind of add that kind of detail um, to this deck and then we can kind of check that off the box too so as far as um, what are we going to add to this Basically, we're going to add a control for the generator so you guys can create power. Um, and then I'm going to put an autopilot in and then a throttle. There's going to be, obviously, you're going to have like a compass and, and all of that kind of good stuff. Um, the electrical panel is going to be up in this room. As you guys can see, I just hooked up into it. But other than that, um, you know, anchor controls, um, kind of just maybe some indicators about what the ship's doing. Um, I add this kind of uh, paintable indicator board that shows uh, the anchors if they're connected on all four corners, if the drill is running, um, and then a few other things. I forgot what other things I put on it, but um, you guys will probably see that in a later episode. Now, I will admit that I did a little bit of building and I accidentally lost the footage. So um, we did a good amount of work downstairs in that episode. Basically, all I did was um, kind of put a bunch of seating in paint the walls. I put a cutout in for the kitchen, but I didn't actually do the kitchen. And then the entrance room on the first floor is now um, a laundry room that you have to go through first. So that's kind of what we I did. I'll try to show that off in a later episode. We still have probably another two, three to go with this build. So just kind of keep that in mind. I am, um, you know, I'm doing my best to get it done. It's just, it's a big project. So it's, it's taken me a while and, uh, you know, it's, it is what it is. I've got other things going. If you guys haven't seen, I just started a new build. It's a little warship, a frigate. So, um, if, if that sounds interesting to you, definitely go check that out. That should be in my recent videos, but, uh, yeah, um, kind of enough of that. <laughs> Likewise, while I'm kind of going on about that stuff, we'll, uh, I'll just give you guys the spiel. If you guys like this series, you like the build, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. The support means a lot to me. You guys have been super, super, super great lately. And, uh, I, yeah, I just really appreciate it. We're, uh, we're doing these builds because of you guys and uh, hopefully you guys like them. So um, just kind of here to hopefully teach you something and be a little entertaining at the same time. So hopefully we're doing that well. But yeah, anyways, sorry, I, uh, I did spawn this in the real world. So we're outside right now. And what I'm doing now is I'm just testing the controls for the propellers because since we have... Um, we have four different propellers. We have two in the front and two in the rear, one on... Um, for each pontoon obviously so i had to do a little bit of math trickery which isn't super complicated i just wanted to make sure that all of the directions were correct so we can spin on a dime left and right we can go back and forward and uh, all of that seems to be working fine so 
the next step would be to hook in the autopilot. Now, I'm not gonna do that in this episode just because that's a little boring, but we do have steering now. It works a lot better now. It's not, you don't have to play around with two stupid throttles. So um, we can check that off the box. Next thing we gotta do is we've gotta figure out, you know, the generator controls, um, the anchors, a few other things. So that's kind of what we're gonna move on to next. And uh, yeah, I think that, you know, once we get this, this bridge done, it'll start feeling a lot more put together and finished, which will be kind of cool. Now, uh, forgive the noise outside, guys. Um, I am trying to talk more. So in the forget episode, I talked almost the entire episode. So um, in that first one. So if you guys are into that, go check that out. I kind of asked in that episode if you would prefer if I talk more. So I'm uh, a couple of you responded in the comments. Yes, you like it more. So I'm going to try to do that. I've tried it in the past. But in that episode, I tried pretty much no time lapses. So we're going to we're going to try to stay on that theme. And, you know, if you guys haven't seen that one yet and uh, or you're just here for the oil rig um, build, if you guys like me talking more, definitely let me know down below. Now, I did also say in that video, you know, I'm open to some build suggestions, which I did say in the last one, too. So we do have that frigate figured out. And um, that's one of our builds. Now, I have a couple other small things. And basically, I just kind of want your guys' opinion on a few things that we can do. So um, I think with Stormworks, the uh, the builds might slow down a little bit. But um, I'm just kind of a little busier these days. So I don't know would you, if, if you guys would be into, you know, maybe me playing some other games and then, you know, always having one build going on and or something like that. But basically, when the oil rig gets done, we're going to have um, kind of some slots in the schedule to fill up with another build. So that's either going to be like a race truck or an oil tanker or something like that. But um, I'm not I'm not set on those ideas. So if you guys have anything um, cool or, or fun that you want me to build, definitely let me know down below and I'll kind of think about it. I'm not, you know, set on any ideas yet. So you know, I'm open to hearing anything you guys have to say. And, uh, you know, you can either do that down below in the comment section or in my discord, which, um, I, at this point, again, sorry about the noise outside guys, the garbage guy is here. Um, but at this point, I'm sure a lot of you are probably in the discord, but, uh, if you're not, you know, check that out, there will be a link to that too. But, uh, yeah, again, I'm kind of rambling. We are hooking up the horn. I wanted to get the horn in here and we're going to hook up a couple other just small things right on the roof of this building. Now we're not going to need a, a giant mast or anything like this. Again, it's, it's not a vessel that you're going to navigate around all day. It's not for that. It's kind of, you know, get it into a, a position where you need it, tow it there, drive it there, whatever you want to do, and then just kind of put the anchors down and park. So you know, it's not really a big deal. We're not going to, you know, navigation lights, we'll try to get those in. But again, it's not super pressing. If, if you run into a giant oil rig, you're blind. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we'll, we'll kind of, we'll try to add a bunch of that. What I do need to add is a bunch of outside lights and uh, I do add those. I don't know if I do that in this episode, but the outside lights look awesome. I'm super thrilled with how that worked out. So I added kind of lights around the deck and then I added spotlights that shine down into some of the areas that are a little bit tighter. And I think it looks really, really cool. So if that's not in this episode, I'll try to show that off in the next one. Um, just kind of like the work that I did off camera that I was talking about earlier in this episode. But um, again, do forgive me about that. I, I lost the footage. That's completely on me. So um, that's my bad. But, you know, it, it it's not the end of the world. I mean, you guys have seen me build kitchens, kind of, you know, common rooms, that thing, that kind of stuff before. And I also didn't really finish it. So um, you guys will be able to kind of see me finish it up. But yeah, just getting a couple more instruments in here. We're going to get a compass ball and uh, then we're going to get a little dial to show our speed. Now I'm going to extend this table all the way over to this wall. And this is where we're going to put the, the controls to, for the generator. So you can go over... Um, to the generator and kind of check on it, but you can't start it over there. And I did that on purpose because I'm trying to keep this thing complex in how it works, but not complex in how you have to work it, if that makes sense. Um, so I didn't want to have a lot of different control stations and, and all of that. So I didn't want to have people kind of going on a wild goose chase around the oil rig, trying to find things to get it to function or just leave port. So pretty much everything you could do from this level so either in the bridge or the control room you can control pretty much the entire oil rig the rest of it's pretty much cosmetic and or um, a lot of you know piping 
you know, that kind of mess that I, I made earlier in the build series. <laughs> so um, that's, that's kind of the nice thing about it. So right here, we're going to add just a couple switches for the generator. And then on this side, I haven't, I'm not too sure exactly what we're going to put over there. I was thinking maybe some radio controls or maybe a map screen, but I'm not sure yet. So um, any suggestions with that, definitely let me know about that one too. But yeah, I think, uh, I think it's probably about time that we get some color in here. So maybe let's start doing a little bit of paint work. I'm going to do just the classic stripe like I did on the other floors. Now we're going to play around with colors. I played around with that disgusting yellow um, and it's also not going to be this red. We go with actually a really nice kind of soft blueish green. And I think that that will look quite nice on the walls and it'll be nice and um, different from a lot of the other colors. So, you know, there will be a lot less confusion as to what floor am I on, what deck am I on, which, I mean, you shouldn't be confused. There's giant windows facing out front with a helm, but, um, you know, that's just me being me. So we're going to go ahead, paint this up, add a little bit of color to this floor. I always think that this actually adds quite a bit of help. And, you know, I, I never go for the full colored walls, but, you know, that's just my personal preference. I personally like to kind of do the stripe. I like the, the kind of clean, almost laboratory look to the white walls with a, a color band on it. But, you know, um, that's just kind of also fitting the theming that we've done with the rest of the build. Since I try to kind of make all of my builds a little bit similar, um, that's kind of why you see a lot of the same thing in a lot of my other builds. Is I, I try to make them look a little bit um, like they were made from the same person or manufacturer kind of because they are but that's also because i don't make anything um that's based off of like real life models of vehicles or, or those kind of things so um, all of my stuff is completely fictional just kind of made up so i want it to all kind of feel a little similar like it's made by this the same company fake company or whatever but um you know that's that's just kind of me talking about you know theming and whatnot we've got our throttles over here for our generators so we've got to get those moved over so Real simple controls. I'm just gonna keep these exact same switches over here. I'll add a few more gauges and dials. Now I played around with putting it on this side. Um, I didn't really like that. So it goes on to the other side of the helm, but yeah, we're gonna add the same dial or gauge that the generator has on its on it right now. The one that shows the, uh, the Stormworks Watts output. And then just the starter key, and uh, that should be just about enough. So um, I think I also added a, a gauge for the battery just so you can uh, kind of check the power level. But real simple, guys, not too complicated. This generator is kind of just turn it on, walk away. Um, it should create more than enough power to do everything. In my testing, you were able to drive it while also operating the slurry pumps, the refining tower, um, and also running the, like the drill well head, well head motors and all that kind of stuff. So you should not be able to run out of power. Um, and if you do, you are drawing a lot, a lot, a lot of power. So um, that shouldn't really be too much of a concern, which is also kind of nice. I was actually a little impressed how much power we squeezed out of that generator, which I'm sure with more tweaking, you could get more. Um, but we had that little medium modular engine that makes, I want to say like 5,000 watts, which I thought we were going to need more, but it it surprisingly is plenty. Now I played around with a bunch of paint blocks here just to make this kind of look a little snazzier, a little fancier, but um, wasn't super in love with how that turned out. So we're going to have to play with that quite a bit to make it look better. And uh, you know, I'm not against the idea. I just, I'm not loving how this looks currently. So we'll have to play around with it. Like I said, but we also have to get the gauge in here and a couple other things. So I wanted to make it look like it was, you know, mechanically connected or something like that. But it's uh, not really, I don't know, it's just a key and a throttle. So first of all, why would they? But also, um, you know, I just, I don't know. It's not really necessary. I was trying to add some details. I think I was just kind of headed in the wrong direction with this one. So um, again, I'm going to play around with it, see if we can make something work with it. But I do think that the paint blocks go and we just go with some kind of manual gauges. So now again, I am basically trying to minimize the amount of switches and controls and info that you guys have up here on purpose because I want it to be simple for you to use. So that is kind of one thing to keep in mind is, you know, with all of this, I'm trying to get the detail in other ways, like with indicators or, you know, just paint, classic old paint never fails, but uh, also, um, 
you know, just kind of lights and, you know, layout and that kind of thing. I'm not trying to just overload you with information. Like this isn't a military ship. This isn't, you know, a Coast Guard ship or, you know, anything like that. You don't need to have just screens and screens and screens of information around you and switches and switches and switches. Like, I mean, it is an oil rig, but, you know, we're not flying like a, a airline or something like that. So I don't want you guys to have to go through this long manual to figure out how to use anything on the, uh, the ship. So, that's kind of why we're trying to dumb it down. Now, these are the gauges I was talking about earlier that we're going to copy. So I'm just going to copy and paste those exact gauges into the bridge. And I think that that will kind of look good. And it also, we have all the info already put into these, like the spacing and all that kind of stuff. So we're just going to copy all of that. And uh, for once, I'm not using the, uh, the selection editor to do this, but we'll just do it manually. And then we will add a few more instruments. I think I add a uh, digital display for the battery level and then that will be that pretty much. So we don't really need engine data. If you need to know about the engine, you can just go check on it on the deck. Um, in my experience, I, I've ran this engine pretty much indefinitely. It won't overheat. It won't, you know, you've got hundreds of thousands of liters of, of fuel on board. So it should be able to run for a very, very long time also. But yeah, so we're just going to kind of copy these over and make sure everything is looking nice and square. And like I said, they, we're probably not going to get into the back half of the bridge or like the office space in this episode, but that's all right. Um, we don't need to. Um, I can kind of show you guys that later. I'm sure, um, you know, we're trying to wrap this build up anyway, so I'm not trying to bombard you guys with another 20 videos of us just doing interior work because... Um, it's not like the interior is huge on this thing. It's just kind of a big ship and there's a lot of different spaces um, You know, it's 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 kind of and it's also just kind of me um, You know a lot of times I'm a little Overkill with trying to make sure I use all of the spaces and make sure everything looks good from all angles and um, Kind of worrying about stuff that you know 99% of you probably won't even see but anyways we're heading towards the end of this episode, so we're just finishing up this station. Um, we'll add a floor mat in the end, um, but I just want to add a little indicator right here that is for the battery. So this is just going to tell you, you know, is the battery low? And if it is, turn on the generator. Other than that, we got that digital display in the middle. That is just going to display the battery's current level, the main battery. Now there's a lot of batteries. I think we have like four or five um like the very very large batteries on this thing so um plenty of electrical storage which is kind of nice um but yeah this is basically it so as you guys can see real simple not complicated you can throttle all both of those throttles all the way up all the way down um it'll it'll work so there's no sweet spots you got to hit or anything like that um let's just make sure that this looks a little bit more correct from the front we're going to give this a save and uh, we'll spawn it in and go check it out. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much the end of the episode. We're not going to do all that much more building. So if you stay to the end, as always, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Looks like I got to change that number display. But yeah, if you made it to the end, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for all the support lately. You've been killing it. If you haven't seen the frigate episode uh, yet, go check it out. That's going to be a super fun, super cool build and uh, plenty of the, more of those videos to come. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day.